every time. Let's see what it does if I just wait. It goes away, okay. What's up y'all? Welcome back to the Hack Shack or welcome to the Hack Shack if this is your first time. If it is, stop and go hit that subscribe button and after this video, watch some of the other ones. Uh, check it out. Today, uh, I'm not doing a normal video. Um, this will be like a midweek deal probably. I don't know when I'm gonna post this, Thursday or Friday, but uh, I bought the Holley 5 inch dash to go in Mr. T. Has a Holley Terminator X Max. It's a LS, 4L80. Um, I've got the Holley seven inch dash and the three and a half, which it goes up there, but it's hanging because I was playing with the five inch dash. But here's the five inch dash. Um, I was messing with it so I could kind of understand what goes on in this video. Um, so I did like an unboxing, you'll see that. I threw it in here for safekeeping. All right, this one is part number 553-200. It's a Holly EFI five inch digital dash. All right, maybe you can see this. Uh, here's the back, I guess it's got some mounts and a big cable, pretty large cable. Got a mini SD, and uh, that's the screen. And uh, let's see. Let me get a tape measure. Show you what we're working with here. All right. So they call it a five-inch dash. It is about five inches of screen, sideways, horizontal, whatever by about the actual screen itself, I would say is two and a half tall. And then the actual screen is, I would say it looks like it's about four, about four and three eighths by two and a half, the actual screen where it's gonna display. So I don't know, maybe they're, Let's see, they used to measure the TVs. I don't know if they still do or not, but they used to measure them diagonal. And look at that, that is five inches diagonal, almost on the money. That's how they measure it. It's smaller than this iPhone I'm videoing this with, and it's an iPhone Plus. So it's, it's pretty small, kind of, I'm not gonna say disappointing, but I don't know. I just expected it to be a little bigger. That's what she said. Huh. All right, what else we got in here? We got, a SD adapter. We got, looks like a windshield mount that I'm not even gonna take out because I'm not using that. And then we have this mount, which I am probably gonna use. Let me find. Blade. Okay. Yeah, so this mount, I think I'm gonna use. And it just snaps in there. Comes off really easy too. Good solid, good solid lock. I can live with that. And you can put screws in from this side, lock her down. I have a metal mount in my, like on my steering column. I'm hoping this isn't gonna push it out too far. But we'll see, if it does, I'll modify something as always. I dig the mount. All right, we got the cable for the can. Oh, here's a flat one. Okay. I didn't see this. It's in the bottom. This one's, this one's probably better for my application. It's a flat mount or almost flat. Not, not totally, but really close. So that'll work. That'll be better for what I'm doing. Okay. So it has a, this little port says it's for a GPS antenna. So GPS speedometer, I guess. That's cool. Mine works off the Holly uh, Terminator X Max on the 4L80, so I don't have to worry about that so much, but cool option. Uh, and here's that cable. Does it have a GPS? Huh. It's got an actual GPS module with it. Do I need that? 
Well, the instruction sheet is right here, but I'm recording this right there, so I may have to pause you here shortly, but we got a few things to do before I'm worried about that. I gotta run the cable and take the old one out. And the reason I bought this, not just because I'm bougie and had to have it, uh, so I'm doing a swap on my other truck and I have, I'm kind of piecing together some old Terminator parts and I, ha I have a Terminator X Max computer. I have a 24X LS harness that's butchered, but I'm gonna fix it. I don't have a dash and it's in this truck. I'm gonna hide the little digital dash and I didn't have one. So I'm gonna use the three and a half off of the hot rod, the rat rod, whatever you wanna call it. The diamond T, Mr. T is what we call it. Um, I'll use that little dash off of that. Yeah, that's a magnetic GPS. Huh, I'll have to look at those instructions here shortly. But anyways, this looks like a really straightforward install and I'm hoping, I'm thinking I can use the, the SD card out of my three and a half and it'll just automatically be ready for my setup. I'm really hoping that, but we're gonna find out together. Well, no, I'm gonna find out and then I'll tell you cause I gotta turn this off. Um, actually, I guess I better do that now. So be right back. Anyways, uh, let's get going on the install now. The five inch dash has this thread on cable that attaches. I still am not sure if I have to run the GPS speedometer or not, or the GPS sender or not. I'm just gonna hook it up without it and then go drive it another day. Right now I'm not moving all these trucks. I'm just gonna do an install and show you the gauges. So I gotta cut some zip ties and get the cable out for the original dash and then I'll show you the two side by side so you'll know what, what we're talking about. It's just not that much bigger. It is a cooler looking display. Here's the difference. So that's a three and a half inch and a five inch. It's quite a, quite a bit bigger, really. Um, but. Again, Harbor Freight zip ties are the best. It's about all I buy from there anymore. I hope I can get to all the stupid zip ties without taking the dash out. That'd be super. We're gonna find out. All right, so the mount that I made for the three and a half inch dash, it's right here. It's just welded to the top of this column support that I made. And this is that. And this is, this is the bottom. So it goes like this and the damn cable the, uh, the cable port is in the way, so I'm gonna have to mark it and notch it with a die grinder so I can put this in the center of that because I can't handle it not being centered. So away we go with that. Put that about right there. Put a little mark and then get the die grinder and make a little notch. down it's a rat rod if it was a nice car I wouldn't be doing it this way and like my new glasses from Cornwell or I don't know my Cornwell guy had them and I had to have them because I have a problem I have to buy new tools all the time the latest grade it's gotta have it they work good the little lights nice all right Now, does it fit? Yep, 
That's way better. All right. So now, I'll just fish this through there, and then I'll tie it up on the other side, just like I had the other one. That was a pretty smart way of doing it. Made it really easy to uninstall. I'm gonna have to come over there to fish it through. Trying to make this video pretty quick. I'll probably edit out a bunch of stuff that way. If you're just here to see this install, you're not watching a bunch of my bull crap. Ow, that was my head. Vertical, just like this. Yeah, that'll work. And then, let's pull that back. That one out, just like that. Oh, that's actually really nice. Right, we'll get some double sided tape. Up. Okay, 3M double sided tape on there. Now, put this. Snap that in, and then I'll peel this. This is some of the best double-sided tape. The problem is, it takes everything, including the back of plastic. That whole freaking roll is a big hole. And I really like it because they don't come off in the long. Man, it's going to be a super pain to peel. See what it looks like when it's staring low. Looks pretty good. It's plugged in. So, oh, I'm gonna turn the battery on. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna tidy up these, this wiring again, back to the way it was, and then I'll be back and turn it on. I'll sit in the seat and turn it on and show you what's up. Dash is in, wiring's tidied up. And uh, let's fix that real quick. All right, be warned. I have Aeromotive 5.0 brushless on this thing and it is loud. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to click monitor every time I turn it on, but so far, every time I've turned it on, I've had to click monitor. And I don't love that. I gotta find out if there's a way around that. I just wanna turn the truck on and be on monitor. So I set it while I was playing with it off camera. I don't know if you can see that or not, but all these are individual gauges. So this is this one, the first one, that's AFR, oil pressure, fuel pressure, battery, uh, coolant temp sensor, and boost. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so the, the end ones were empty and I moved some stuff around, but all you do is you hold this down and then it comes up and it has uh, edit, enable, or digital six. And I don't know what digital six is, or no, digital gauge number six. That's what it is. Hey, learn something new right now. All right, you can hit edit and you can change to whatever gauge you want. Like if you edit the channel, you can go through everything that the Terminator or Sniper or whatever you have will do. But I'm going to cancel that because I'm happy with what I got for now. All right, I'm going to start the truck.
zero to 999 miles an hour. All right, I'm gonna fix that. We're gonna go range. We're gonna take that down to go to. 60. I don't plan on ever going that fast on this thing, but uh, it's still showing a bunch. I'm just learning as I go. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but See what it does if I just wait. It goes away. Okay. I don't have to push the button. That's excellent. All right. Well, that you you seen it. That's it. I mean, thing installed super easy. Um, I, re I really like it. It's, let's see. I don't, oh, okay. I had it zoomed in, but here's like my view. So it's perfect. It's right in this steering wheel. Like, I mean, it, it's, I, I'm really happy with it for 400 bucks. I, I'm super happy, honestly. Let's well, see how it performs after I drive it a few times, but I, I like it. I think it's worth the money all day long. Well, that wraps up this video. Um, I've tried it a few times, uh, moved some stuff around. I checked it off. Everything works like it should. Uh, very happy with it. If you're considering buying one of those to replace your three and a half, or if you just don't have a dash and you want a dash, honestly, I'd buy that over the seven inch. It's cheaper and it's a little easier to deal with and you get plenty of stuff with it. And you can, you can, it's, it's like endlessly configurable, if that's a word. Um, oh, and if, if you can see that banner, they didn't give it to me. Nobody's paying me to make this video. I just made it because I had questions about the dash and I've found a few videos and I don't know, I just figured I'd make my own. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you're still with me, uh, check out the other videos, like, comment, follow, Subscribe, don't like, whatever. Later, thanks. <laughs>